excited to welcome Connor Ben. Johnny Nelson's also still here with us. Connor, how are you doing? Uh, you're locking down with your dad, I believe. How's that going? Yeah, it's going all right. I mean, it's uh, it's a crazy time for everybody, but being locked down with my dad's a blessing, really. It's, uh, it's nice to have him here. Absolutely. I mean, I guess you guys are training together. Is that the case? Yeah, he trains like a lunatic. I mean, he trains twice a day uh, <laughs> in the morning and in the evening, every single day without fail. You know, so it's, uh, it's inspiring. Absolutely. I mean, your, your boxing backstory is, shall we say, slightly different to most. You had a rather privileged upbringing in Australia, decided to pack all that yeah. up and come over here to, to go into a game that's hard, it's gruelling, it's by no means an easy sport or a job to get into. What, what was that decision? What made you want to do that? Was boxing always the choice for you? No, nah, definitely not. I mean, I was as far from a fighter as you can imagine. Uh, I used to love skateboarding. I used to listen to Avenge Sevenfold, had the ripped jeans, rode my BMX, my rollerblades, go to the skate park. I was that sort of kid, believe it or not. So where these tattoos and, and this looks come from, the gold chains and loving to fight, it's sort of just come out of nowhere. My dad said I had it in me when I was young. But never in a million years did I think that I'd put on a pair of gloves um, and compete professionally. So it's crazy. Do you, um, with your surname, that kind of puts you in the spotlight even more so than, than most people. Do you feel like you have even more of a point to prove because of that? Uh, no, early on in my career, I did. Um, I used to get nervous going out to fights thinking, oh, is it a boring fight? Do the public think it's a boring fight? Am I living up to the name? That was early on in my career. And as a 19-year-old, you're bound to think like that and have these thoughts that you've got to deal with. But now I've realised 16 fights in that I'm just an entertaining fighter. If I go in there and have a, you know, the worst night of my life, it's still going to be an entertaining fight. And if I go out there and have the best night of my life, it's still going to be entertaining. So both ends of the spectrum, it's, I'll always be an entertaining fighter. Connor, Johnny, what, what's having your, the surname what's your... of the... Go for it, Johnny. I said, kind of, what's, uh, what's your expectations? You know, some guys, it might be to be, be European, might be world, might be to, to, to unify. What, what do you want? What is it you're chasing for in this game? Because you said yourself, at first it was about entertaining the fans. Uh, now you've got over that. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, listen, I, I see so many fighters out there, you know, saying they're this, they're that, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. And really, you look at them and I think you're crackers. <laughs> who's, who's, telling, who's telling you that you know that's possible? So in my head, I try and keep it as real as I possibly can. And uh, know I'm going to have a lot, you know many hard fights in my career. Uh, it's just that style and that vulnerability. I'm going to have ups. I'm going to have downs. I'm going to have hard fights that should have been easy, and then I'm going to have easy fights that should have been hard fights. And will I take a few losses in my career? I'd be silly to think not. But it's a roller coaster journey, and that's where you show that I'm I'm a fighter through and through in life choices I make if I thought if I thought I'm gonna bounce back because I've already proven in my career my career so far 16 fights in so shortly speaks for itself Connor you just mentioned there about the roller coaster of a career and the ups and downs that you've had I mean you, you yourself you've had some lengthy layoffs but every time you've had that layoff through injury you've come back even stronger you've rebuilt and sort of gone back to basics and you're even better but I want to know during that time did you ever think about walking away? Have you ever thought about sort of saying, right, enough's enough? Yeah, twice. <laughs> twice I thought, well, I've, I've really got to call in. And my first, second fight, when I fought in Glasgow, I've gone back to the changing room. Well, I've won clearly, but I've cried my ball in my eyes and I've gone, Dad, I think this ain't for me, mate. I think, um, you know, I am Silver Spoon. <laughs> Maybe I am Silver Spoon, <laughs> Dad. So, but then I come back and somehow fought my way through again and had the first fight with Paynard. And after that fight, I definitely thought it was done. I was definitely thought I was finished. Like, this is it for me. I can't do it. And Tony's like, no, listen, you've shown more in that fight than, you know, loads of other fighters that I've trained. Uh, so I think it's all just learning. It's all character building. And I think it's all down to perspective and how you take them situations to use it for my own benefit. You do seem to be taking it all in your stride. Did you ever feel the pressure? I always felt the pressure. I mean, I think having the O and being undefeated, that holds pressure in itself. But my dad, me and my dad was talking the other day and he's like, Connor, the O don't mean nothing. 
Um, and I was like, do you know what? The amount of pressure it puts on having no, I, I, I want to fight anybody. And in my head, I can, I can beat anybody. But is there that pressure there to entertain? No, there's not that pressure there. But more so the pressure to, to do well for myself because I set high expectations for myself. If I've knocked the guy out in the first round, I'll go back to my trainer and go, Tony, what did I do wrong? What did I, what, what can I improve on? I didn't go, yeah, cool, I knocked him out in the first round and that's it. What did I do wrong, Tony? Did I set it up right? Did I throw this shot right? Did I twist with my hips? So all these things we work on. Johnny, there's no denying that Connor is always exciting to watch. What, what do you like about him in particular? Uh, I just like his, his that rawness like, that his dad had, uh, that unpredictability, that, uh, that fire uh, he's got uh, in his gut uh, instinctively. And as he said, he's, he did, it's not a case of where you're brought up, it's what's inside there. So regardless of how he's been brought up or regardless of, of what what's he's been privileged to, he still fights like a hungry man. Uh, he's, and, and I see... I see his dad in him so much. And, uh, and uh, again, I'll, I'll repeat that. When his dad uh, first came on the scene as a professional, the criticism he got uh, was, was everybody gave it him. Then all of a sudden, when he got the success, people understood where, who Nigel Ben was. Now with Conor Ben, Conor Ben is exactly the same. He's unpredictable. He's raw. He's, he's got a spring in his step when he lets those shots go from every angle going. So I like that aggressiveness, unpredictable aggressiveness about him because it's something you'd find very hard to tame if you've not got your wits about you, if you're not fit, if you've got uh, if you, you have answers every question there in your heart. I like that, and, and so I'm excited every time I see him box because I learned the mistake of doubting his dad uh, and seeing what his dad achieved. So now, Connor, I'm thinking I see exactly what path you're on. I think Matt Macklin said it, didn't he, in commentary once, what's, what's in the cat is in the kitten, which I think is a great expression for you, Connor. That is indeed. Quick question, Johnny. So when I first turned pro, from your perspective of how you thought I was going to do, because I know you keep it real with me, from when I first turned over, what did you think in comparison to now? But you got to be honest. I'll, 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 take the, I'll take the harsh truth. I'll, I'll be totally honest. So each time you've had time off through an engine or whatever, you come back with something new. Boxing ability, jab, movement, being a bit smart, being a bit patient, because sometimes when you're out of the trap, you bang straight on it. So now you're starting to think a hell of a lot more and I see a development and improvement in every fight I see going on. I'm more than happy with what I see. I'm quite sure you'll manage. Your man will make sure he'll not bum you up too much because he doesn't want you to get complacent. But what I see is you improving boxing-wise. I see, I see improving uh, hand-eye foot coordination-wise. But you've still got that fire in your belly, which makes you unpredictable. Yeah. But, but it makes you so very dangerous think- as well. So did you Connor, think I'd and, get and to where I am now based on my first fight, first couple fights? Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. Ah, I thought domestically this reckon? boy is, is, is a bag of trouble. Yeah, without a doubt. Connor, we have to talk about a name that keeps being bannered about when we talk about yourself, and that's, of course, Josh Kelly. Is that a natural fight for you, do you think? Well, listen, um, I think, you know, stars make fights. And, you know, we're polar opposites in the way we are, the way we conduct ourselves when we get in the ring. I'm down to business. I mean, I'm, I'm in business and I ain't, I ain't chilling, I ain't relaxing, I ain't showing no flashy moves until I get you out of there. And that's the difference between me and him. Watching him now, all in flashy movements and working with somebody who ain't coming to stick it on him. That's the right, thing, Johnny. The I mean, he, he looks slick. I'll stick it on Johnny, him, straight on him. Johnny, they have, both have very different styles, don't they? And that's why this a fight between those two will be so intriguing, and it'll be it'll be chalk and cheese. One's a boxer, wants to be cute and box fight, and one's a fighter that will put you on it. So therefore, uh, if, if Josh Kelly gives him space, gives him gives him time to, to roll onto him, that's the worst thing you could do. And, and what's going to happen with these two is they're going to end up meeting in the ring, and it's going to be about egos, it's going to be about want, it's going to be about that desire, uh, and I think it'll make for a, a perfect matchup. I, I don't think it, there'll be nobody hiding, uh, and I think it'll be this could be a fight of the year fight with these two because they have got so much in them, uh, um, uh, want-wise, desire-wise. Uh, I'd love to see it. Who starts his favourite, Johnny, very quickly? 
Well, you know what? I've always been a fan of Conor from day one, so I'm sticking with Conor. I'm, that's how I roll. So, uh, and I've always kept it through. If I didn't think that, I'd, uh, I'd really, I'd say that. Uh, but I think as time's gone on, with the experiences had, now's time. He's he's caught up. Now, right, he's ready. 